Warning, the following Let's Play of Fire Emblem Awakening will contain terrible gameplay and minimal knowledge of the game mechanics, courtesy of Midnight and Beyond. Midnight and Beyond is among the casual trash who only got into the Fire Emblem series when Awakening came out, and hasn't played any of the games that came before it. However, we believe this is justified since it's just a stinking video game, and video games should be enjoyed by anyone and everyone who wishes to play them. Gatekeeping is stupid, and so is Backseat Gaming. Despite having played this game before, as well as all the Fire Emblem games that came out after it, I'm still a bit rusty on the majority of the game mechanics and menu layouts. I eventually become more familiar with all of the ins and outs of this game over time, simply by re-experiencing the game and making my way through the main story. So please just be patient with me and know that it'll all be okay in the end. Especially since I'm playing on easy difficulty and casual mode. Again, I'm just here to have fun. Not really interested in having the true Fire Emblem experience or street cred or anything like that. I'm also not going to be doing 100% because we would be here for a million stinking episodes if I even attempted such a thing. This Let's Play will be covering the main story and any paralogues that open up to us along the way, but not much else. Sorry if I don't end up getting a character that you really like just because I never got their parents shipped with an unsuitable love interest all for the sake of showing off all the children in this game. I don't really care, and I'm just gonna be using the characters I know and really like. If you have any complaints with this setup, then please feel free to forward them to 1 800. I'm combining the fake phone number and Oreo slash mac and cheese gag this time around because I already did this for two previous Let's Plays and I just wanna get this intro bit over with because I'm out of funny lines and creative ideas and I think you all get the point by now, and I will get back to you at my earliest convenience. Without further ado, I hope you enjoy my Let's Play of Fire Emblem Awakening. <laughs> Prom, we have to do something. What do you propose we do? Uh, I don't know. <sighs> I see you're awake now. Hey there. <laughs> there are better places to take a nap than on the ground, you know. <laughs> Give me your hand. Yes, I'm fine. Hmm? Ah, then you know who I am? Huh? No, actually, I... It's strange. Your name, it just came to me. Hmm. How curious. Tell me, what's your name? What brings you here? Um... My name is... It's... Hmm... What? You don't remember your own name? Hmm. I'm not sure if... I'm sorry, but where am I exactly? What? Hey, I've heard of this! It's called amnesia! Explain. It's called a load of Pegasus, Don. We're to believe you remember your lord's name, but not your own. Huh? But it's the truth. <sighs> what if it is true, Frederick? We can't just leave her here alone and confused. What sort of shepherds will we be then? Right. Just the same, my lord. I must emphasize caution. It would not do to let a wolf into our flock. Right. We'll take her back to town and sort this out there. Uh. Wait just one moment. Don't I get a say in this? <sighs> Peace, friend. I promise we'll hear all that you have to say back in town. Now come. <sighs> what will you do with me? Am I to be your prisoner? <laughs> You'll be free to go once we establish you're no enemy of Ulysses. Huh? Is that where we are? Ulysses? Ah. You've never heard of our heldom? Ha! Huh, someone pay this actress. She plays quite the fool. The furrowed brow is especially convincing. <laughs> Frederick, please. This land is known as the heldom of Ulysses. Our ruler, Emerian, is called the Exult. I suppose proper introductions are in order. My name is Krom, but then you already knew that. The delicate one here is my little sister, Lissa. I am not delicate. Hmm. Ignore my brother, please. He could be a bit thick sometimes. But you're lucky the shepherds found you. Brigands would have been a rude awakening. Um. Shepherds? You tend sheep in full armor? Hmm. <laughs> it's a dangerous job. Just ask Frederick, the wary one. Right. A title I shall wear with pride. Gods forbid one of us keeps an appropriate level of caution. I have every wish to trust you, stranger, but my station mandates otherwise. Yeah. I understand, sir. I would do no less myself. My name is Robin. I just remembered that. 
How odd. I suppose that's one mystery solved. Really? Robin? Is that foreign? Oh, uh, well, we could discuss it later. We're almost to town. Once we... Home? Look! The town! Darn it, the town is ablaze. Those blasted brigands, no doubt. Frederick, Lissa, quickly. My lord. What about her? Unless she's on fire as well, it could wait. Of course. Happily put, my lord. Let's go already. Oh. But what about... Get to it, lads. Grab anything shiny and put the rest to the torch. We got an example to set for these you listen types. Ain't that right, lass? Stay away from me! Please, someone, help! Crom, we have to stop them! Gods. Don't worry, after today those bandits won't be bothering us ever again. Robin, you followed us? Why? I'm not certain myself, but I'm armed, and I know my way around a fight, if you'll have me. Good. With strength in numbers, just stay close. Time to rout the enemy. Player phase! Shall we then? Remember, Robin, we face practice thieves and murderers. They will grant us no quarter. It's kill or be killed. Was this Undertale? Okay, good morning everybody, it's Midnight and Beyond. Welcome to my Let's Play of Fire Emblem Awakening. Not a whole lot of room to talk about the game itself, let's talk about the gameplay itself. Gonna try not to make this super duper tutorial heavy. Fire Emblem has become such a huge phenomenon, I'm sure you've at least played at least one of the games at this point. But if not, I guess I could give you a little bit of the basics without being too tutorial heavy. This is a perfect game for people who are just getting into the franchise, that's sort of what this game was meant to be. And it's the game that made this franchise as a whole come to North America in the first place. It was a very dead franchise that barely ever succeeded whenever brought over here. But ever since this game, it has never been the same since. So, what we're going to want to do first is get rid of any enemies that we can reach at this point in time. Since we only have a limited amount of space to move depending on what kind of character we have, our options are somewhat limited right off the bat. But it's sort of like chess in which you just keep on moving at your own pace and keep your distance at the same time making sure you're aware of the surrounding areas, and get rid of enemies whenever you have an opportunity to. So for Krom, who we're going to start things off with, we're going to have him attack this guy right here. This is a regular old ruffian with a bronze sword. Krom is our own little ruffian with a not bronze sword, but it just means he could do be uh, I'm trying to do like basic damage or deal decent damage at the same time. It's not working. Let's just stop mincing words and go ahead and attack. If you press A, then you can see what the outcome of the battle will most likely be before you actually do it. So it gives you an idea as to whether or not you want to do this with this specific character or not. So for Krom, he'll end this battle most likely with no damage to him, but the enemy will go down to 4 HP. So that sounds pretty good. So how's about we get things started and attack the ruffian? Go whip out that sword, get to see an epic scene every time you do it. And Krom is strong enough to take no damage from that. You get experience just for doing a fight. It doesn't have to be completely concluded, but you get a little bit of damage done, which is nice. Robin, on the other hand, we could go ahead and start with her. So Robin, I see you I see you wear a sword. Is it wait, is that a tome? You know magic? Yeah. I believe so. I suppose I should check. You believe so? Perhaps I'll just keep a few paces behind you for the time being. No, I could control it, I'm sure. Now, how did this work again? Uh, yes. So, Robin controls tomes instead of swords. You could attack enemies from a distance and make yourself a bit more protected. Since our enemy over here only uses a sword, he can't do any damage to us no matter what our defense is. And since we have the distance uh, benefit, we could just go ahead and get rid of him without any worry about Robin's HP. That's it. 
So up next is Frederick right here. He rides a horse, so he has a lot more space that he could cover than anyone else who's walking on foot. Unfortunately, we can't seem to reach anyone, but that's pretty okay. You're going to want to put Frederick, I say, we'll put him right in front because he's probably the strongest one in our group right now. As for Lissa, right. we'll see who's delicate. I may not be able to attack like Crom, but when you get injured, I'll be the one stitching your bones back together. Care of my trusty staff. You just tell me where to go, Robin. Kind of weird that they're letting the amnesiac stranger be the tactician for this for this battle, but okay. Fine by me. As she said, she is a mage, so she cannot deal any damage in battle. She can only heal your allies. The green areas show you where she could uh, go ahead and heal, I guess, in this general direction. Uh, for now, you're going to want to keep her protected because she will not be able to defend herself. So we're going to put her right here and end the turn. Now they're going to go attack Robin. Robin, I believe, could attack even if enemies are up, up close and personal with her. Yeah, so she could attack from one square away or two squares away, which is really nice. Is anyone hurt? It would be foolish to leave a wound untreated. Oh. Indeed. Timely use of a staff or vulner vulnerary should prevent the worst. Vulnerary are like potions in this game. Uh, so they're telling you about items in case you don't have anyone to attack. Like on Frederick's turn, you could go ahead and have him use it. What's kind of annoying, though, is that the characters don't have a shared inventory space. It's all with specific within the character. So, Krom has three Volunaries right here, so he could use the potions on himself. Or, if we want to heal Robin, uh, since she's the only one with uh, missing HP currently, we would need to have Krom go all the way over to Robin and uh, give her the potion. Which is kind of lame, but I guess it's more realistic. If you're in a real battlefield, you gotta make use of all your moves and... Uh, you gotta work together as a team. We're only as strong as our weakest ally. So for Lissa, we're going to have her heal Robin. Uh, we're gonna go and use heal right here. As you can see, the uh, tome, swords, and uh, staff have little numbers against them. That's actually the number of times this weapon, or just item in general, could be used. Weapons aren't infinite use, unfortunately. They will break over time or run out of magic or whatever. It's kind of unfortunate, but we'll get into that when we get into that. Uh, as for Robin, I think we're going to have her... Uh, actually, we'll start with Frederick, have him go over here since we haven't had him battle yet. Uh, as you can see, he can take care of this ruffian right here with uh, no no HP remaining, so let's get things started. He rides on a stinking horse, which is awesome, and then stabs him with a spear, or lance, excuse me. There are three different types of physical weapons, the swords, uh, lances, and axes. They all have their different strengths and weaknesses. Again, we'll get into that later. Uh, for now, though, I want Robin over here and attack the ruffian right over this way. And I know I'm not doing a very good job of it right now, but it's actually recommended that you have characters be uh, connected to each other at all times if you could make it happen. Uh, right here, we got a little sparkly warkly. If we go ahead and wait right here, we found a hidden item. I got some quick training in. A leader should always be at top of his game. Weapon proficiency improved. Okay, so that was a nice little boost for Krom right there. I, I just like the idea of him taking the moment to train in the middle of like an attack on his village. He's like, oh, well, we're being attacked, but no one's here right now in this specific area, so I might as well get some training in. Uh, kind of weird, but whatever. Uh, no one else is damaged, so I guess we could just keep on going forward. Have Lissa nearby in case we need her. Uh, but yeah, as I was trying to say, you want to keep your characters uh, touching each other at all times. Like, uh, have them on the same square and whatnot. Not the same square, but like, uh, connected squares, just so... Are you ready? Still with us, Robin? I was like, Wobbin. Hmm, it's strange. Here on this battlefield, I could... Well, I could see things. What? See things? Like what? Hmm. The enemy's strength, their weaponry, the flow of battle? I must have studied this somewhere. Really? So, you're saying that you could size up the enemy at a glance? Yeah. It would seem so, and perhaps more, if I apply myself. So she's sort of telling you that uh, about the gameplay of being able to see the outcome of battle before it happens. You could use the touch screen to call up all kinds of useful information. You touch the stats, weapon skills, and whatnot to find out what they do. And the buttons on the right let you toggle between multiple views. So I guess you could look at this bottom screen. You get to see uh, all these different things. You get to see Krom's different weapons. You could switch his weapons around in case one of his other ones will do more damage to the specific enemy. Get to see his skills. We have so many things to go over in this game. I've only ever beaten this game one time, so this is very much uh, just like Mario and Luigi Partners in Time meant to be an experimental LP. 
of just whether or not I could even commentate a game like this. It's sinking massive, and I am not a Fire Emblem expert by any means. I got introduced to the series through Awakening, and I have not played many of the older games, but it's a game that I really adore, and a game that I have gotten a lot more familiar with over time with all the newer releases, so I'm hoping that I'll have a bit of an easier time when going through here, uh, now that I have a lot more experience with later games. Are you alright, Robin? Don't rush into danger. Yeah. I'm fine, Crom, don't worry. You've lent us your strength, and that makes you a friend. Having an ally by my side gives me courage. Well, Thank you, but I think there's more to it than that. Hmm? What do you mean? Um, I believe there's a tactical advantage to fighting side by side. Yeah, that's what I was trying to say before. It's fuzzy. Wait, yes, working in pairs improves strength, defense, speed. Yes, yes, I'm sure of it. So like I said, you're going to want to make sure that your characters are... Uh, standing next to each other as much as you can because you'll actually get stat boost from it. The characters will actually chime in and battle and they'll give you little uh, stat buffs. Sometimes they'll actually do multiple attacks in one turn. It could be very, very useful and it could change the battle entirely. So I recommend you keep your char characters connected as often as humanly possible. Alright, here we got another little sparkly place, but we already gave that one to Krom, so I kind of want to give it to Robin if we could. Uh, I'm just going to wait right here. I don't know if he's going to a walk down with us being in range or not so i'm just going to wait right here frederick we will he could do the battle right here could he finish off the enemy right now he could uh let's just let, let it last a little bit longer just because uh he's not gonna go for us okay robin wait right here what's this hmm don't mind if i do uh she got a superior lance robin does not use lances however not every enemy, or not every character could use every single type of weapon. It depends on what kind of class they are. Robin's a tactician, uh, Krom is a lord, Frederick is a great knight, and Lissa is a cleric. So it that all depends on whether or not uh, they can use certain things. Frederick could definitely use that lance, since he's using a silver lance right now. Uh, but a swordsman like Krom or a mage like Robin, she cannot use it, and neither can him. So uh, you'd probably want to pass that off. So we could go ahead and connect to them right now, I believe. Uh, items, Silver Lance, uh, we think we'd have to do it on Robin's turn, unfortunately, so just go and do that, do uh, that, uh, bring Lissa up here, you could do this, uh, on the overworld after you finish a battle when you're all chilling and stuff, but, uh-oh, I might have messed up here, you sheepy sheepy, come to the slaughter, oh, he has a hand axe, we so could actually throw it, I was like, he can't hit us from afar with an axe, looks like he can, though, and since Krom is far away, he can't actually... Uh, do any damage, which is unfortunate, but since he was next to Alyssa, he got a little stat boost, as you saw. So that's very nice. Uh, but for Robin, I wanted to... I guess you can't actually do that. Maybe it's a thing in a different... Uh, not all the abilities on battle have been unlocked to you just yet, so maybe I can't do what I'm thinking of right now. So for now, I will have Lissa heal Krom. Even though the battle is about to end, it's good to have the healer continue to heal allies, because as you can see, that's the only way Lissa is ever going to get experience. Since she can't get experience from defeating enemies, she'll get experience from healing people. Okay, now that all that is said and done, let's go ahead and start taking down the big baddie. On my mark. You also hold down the A button to make the little animation go by faster in case this is going a little too slow for you. Probably going to be doing that throughout the majority of this game. Now that's taken care of. Oh, he's got one HP left. We're going to beat him with real superpower of teamwork, though, so that's always fun. Go and do that. And he misses. Very, very nice. And as my good old buddy Frederick finishes him off. He could have done it on his own, but we were using the real superpower of teamwork. Stage complete. MVPs were Robin and Krom. Well, that's the end of that. Lucky for the town, we were close by. But holy cow, Robin! You were incredible! Swords, sorcery, and tactics? Is there anything you can't do? Right. You're certainly no helpless victim. That much is for sure. Right. Indeed. Perhaps you might even be capable of an explanation for how you came here. Um... I understand your skepticism, Sir Frederick. And I cannot explain why only some knowledge has returned to me. But please, believe me, I have shared all that I know. Hmm. 
You fought to save your listen lives. My heart says that's enough. My lord. And your mind? Will you not heed its counsel as well? It's all right. Frederick, the shepherds could use someone with Robin's talents. With brigands and unruly neighbors, all looking to bloody our soil. Would you really have us lose such an able tactician? Besides, I believe her story, odd as it might be. Oh. Thank you, Crom. Listen. So how about it? Will you join us, Robin? Yeah. I would be honored. <sighs> Did you notice, my lord? The brigand spoke with a Plegian accent. Huh? Plegian? What's that? Hmm. Plegia is Leolysi's westerly neighbor. They send small bands into our territory, hoping to instigate a war. <sighs> and it's the poor townsfolk who suffer, totally innocent and totally helpless. Really? They do have us, milady. Shepherds to protect the sheep. Do not be swept up in your anger. It will cloud your judgment. I know, I know. Right. Don't worry. I'll get used to all this. <sighs> My lord, please, you must stay the night. We are simple folk of simple means, but we would greatly toast your valor with a feast. My thanks. A most generous offer, sir, and no doubt your hospitality would be grand. But I'm afraid we must hurry back to Ulystal. Dark meat only for me. Medium well and no salt in the soup. I simply... Huh? Wait, what? We're not staying? But Frederick, it's nearly dark. <laughs> when night falls, we'll camp. Eat off the land. Make our bed with twigs and the like. I believe you mentioned you would be getting used to this. What? Frederick! Sometimes I hate you. You've quite the stern lieutenant there. Yeah, well, stern is one name for it. I could think of a few others. <sighs> Frederick only smiles when he's about to bring down the axe. Yeah. Duly noted. <sighs> you do realize I am still present. Oh, we realize. My lord remains as amusing as ever. Now then. Mm. All right, all right. Ready to go, Robin? The capital isn't far. And that is it for chapter one, or the prologue, rather. I really don't know how this Let's Play is going to turn out. My main goal for it is going to be... A, finding out if I could commentate more advanced tactician strategy RPG sort of game like this. And also, because the game already has like little bits and pieces of voice acting and some voice acted cutscenes, if you're hoping to have a very special voice acted finale or whatnot, I don't typically like to bring in voice actors for games that already have voice actors in them, because I don't want to give characters two sets of voice actors. So for that reason, I'm going to be voicing it myself, but I also just sort of want to use this to give myself practice in voice acting in general because it's important to me and what I'd like to do in life. So I hope that this will be an enjoyable experience for all of you. I'm going to try to go back to my Phoenix Wright roots and I guess Professor Layton roots and giving you a enjoyable experience in the terms of voice acting. So I hope I could do a good job nonetheless. Hope you'll enjoy the journey we have ahead and I look forward to seeing how it all plays out. Next time on Fire Emblem Awakening. We will begin our new life with the Shepherds. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all later. Good night.